So next week, we have a WTA 500 event in Berlin. It's a huge event on the grass court calendar, and it's a massive warm-up for a lot of players going into Wimbledon. But there is a lot of players that are not playing in this event, including the withdrawal list. We've got Azarenka, she's pulled out. Vadosa, Collins, Fernandez, Kennan, Keys, Conservate, Pagula, Rabakina, and Iga Sviantek. They've all pulled out of this event. It's a massive event still, but it's a lot of big names pulling out of this one. But let's go to the top of the draw. So the number one seed, we've got eight seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round. Number one seed, Ons Jabor. She plays Mukova in the first round. That is a nightmare for Jabor. So that's a great first round matchup. We're going to have to watch that one, I reckon. Uh, the winner of that match will play either Zhang or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier, Gesanova versus uh, Sasnovich. Winner of that match takes on either Pekovic or the number five seed, Muguruza, in the second round. Then you've got the number four seed, Pushkova, taking on Kanepi. Huge matchup there. Winner of that match takes on either Siniakova or Andrescu in the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it, Korpach versus Wong. Winner of that match takes on either Lee or the number seven seed, Goff, in the second round. Crazy matchups. We've got Jabor versus Mukova. Crazy matchup. Andrescu's in this part of the draw. Pushkova versus Kanepi's a crazy matchup. Uh, Goff is also in this part of the draw. That top part is stacked with big, big names and Grand Slam champions and also threats to maybe win Grand Slams in the next few uh, few years. So uh, very interested to see how that part of the draw looks uh, looks by the end of the tournament. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. We've got the number eight seed, Bencic, taking on Niemeyer. Winner of that match takes on either Kalinskaya or Cornet in the second round. Then we've got Zedinshek taking on Samsonova. Winner of that match takes on either Kudamatova or the number three seed, Sabalenka, who just made a final this week on the grass. So Sabalenka in good form and against Kudamatova, that's a tough matchup. Uh, then you've got the number six seed, Kazakina taking on Kalanina. Winner of that match takes on either Zanevska or Alexandra Drover in the second round. Alexandra Drover just won a, clay, uh, a grass court event, so she's uh, in good form. Then we got Teichman versus Savile. Winner of that match versus uh, will take on either Jean Jean or the number two seed, Zachary, in the second round, who didn't have a great week this week, Maria Zachary, so she needs to get some form. But um, I mean, look, there's, some, there's still massive, massive names in this part of the draw. And can you imagine if we had some of those names that are withdrawn in this section as well? But man, it's still a stacked tournament despite losing a couple of big names. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see who plays well here and who can uh, who can get the win at this event. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments if you're watching this later. Who's going to win that tournament? I mean, Jabor, she won a tournament this time last year on the grass. And uh, she might be a little bit of an underdog in Wimbledon, especially with all the names that have pulled out or that aren't playing uh, because they are from, uh, from Russia or Belarus. Um, you know, Sabalenka played well this week. Maybe she can go one better. You've got to watch out for, you know, Benchich, Goff, you know, as well. Pushkiva, finalist of Wimbledon last year. You know, no one's talking about her. So let me know in the description or the chat and also in the comments who's going to win this event. Because I think it could be anyone on the WTA any week. But this week especially, a lot of big names playing.